Hello everyone, this is Jake from Visual Paradigm. Today I'm going to show you how to utilize our online use case diagram tool. The online use case diagram tool is brought under the Vpository, our online cloud service. If you have not subscribed to Vpository yet, you can visit www.vpository.com and subscribe to it first. After that, you can draw various diagrams online such as UML, Archimate, BPMN, etc. And what I'm going to show you today is one of the diagram supported, which is the use case diagram. All right, let's begin. So this is the dashboard of Vpository. What I have to do now is to open the diagram module. So on the left hand side, you see a list of diagram types. Select use case diagram. You can create a blank diagram or to start from one of these templates. I'm going to create a blank diagram, so I click on this button. This is a blank use case diagram. On the left hand side, you can see several tools for you to draw a use case diagram. There are actors, use case association, and different connectors. So let's start by creating an actor first. Select actor, drag it onto the diagram, name it, Job seeker. Okay, this is an actor. I want to create a use case from this actor. What I have to do is to move my mouse pointer over the actor. You can see some triangles showing around the actor shape. Press on the triangle on the right. Drag it out. Release the mouse button. Okay, this is the resource catalog. The resource catalog shows you the types of shapes that you can create from an actor in this case. So I'm going to create a use case. So I select association use case. This creates a use case. Give it a name, search jobs like this. Resize it a little bit, move it, adjust the connector. Okay, and then I create another use case. Register as job seeker. Repeatedly create the other use cases and actors. This is the final use case diagram. There are actors, use cases, association between actors and use cases, and several include connectors among the use cases. So I've finished drawing this diagram. I'm gonna save it. Give the diagram a name, like employment in this case, confirm. And then I want to export my work to a PNG. So select file export on the left, Keep the settings, confirm. And this is the export image. This is the end of this video. If you're interested in this feature, please subscribe to Vpository. I've included a hyperlink of Vpository in the description of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.